Hello Gemini. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marshinsky. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. Um, the parts of the storyline that may resonate with you, definitely you can apply that to yourself. The rest, um, it may be meant for somebody else at this time that probably needs to hear that message, maybe more than you. Um, really depends. Some of you might also feel that the roles here are reversed. I am looking into the feelings and emotions of the other person, uh, your person of interest. Uh, sometimes we do exchange energy. So just like we can exchange habits, we can also mirror people and uh, pick up on their energy. Holy smokes, Gemini. Hands down. There's a lot going on here. A lot of uh, sad, depressed energy. A lot of... There's going to be changes. I could see that right now. There's going to be a lot of changes. Either you're going to change or this person's going to change, but somebody has to change. Something has to happen. Yeah, you have here illusion as well. Okay, sorry. Let me just get back on my little uh, announcements. So, yes, it could be that you have picked up on some of this person's energy. They maybe have picked up on yours. God, man, oh man. Gemini. I am feeling for you. I am feeling for you. Oh my God, what is happening, people? Like a sharp pain in the heart. This is bad. Sorry, I'm just, I can't, this is, I usually don't get these kind of cards. This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that are not good. However, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, seven cards. All right, don't worry about it. This is not exactly you, right? This is the other person. Um, this is somebody that you've either been in a relationship with. This could have been a situation ship. This could be somebody that you have just ex like exchanged glances with, but your energy is so strong. These cards in particular are talking about somebody that you have actually um, you know, been in a connection with, where you have felt their energy. Um, this could be people that have been in a really long-term committed relationship. This could be um, a situation ship, but it got intense because these cards are very deep cards. This is like to the root, the core of a person's being. Um, let's go over these cards. Um, the first one is the abundance card. Then we have victim, victimization, creativity, fear, illness and wellness, illusion, betrayal, doubt, and beliefs. All right, Gemini, buckle your seatbelts, guys, because this is going to be one hell, of a, one hell of a ride. This one is pretty intense. I think out of all the cards that I just did right now, all the signs, yours right now is the most um, intense. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. This is somebody that you feel that you already have a connection with romantically. If you don't, most likely this might not resonate with you, okay? My dear Gemini, being with you gives me a sense of security. I do feel that the connection that I have with you to some degree is quite strong. There's a lot of security. There's reassurance. I feel as though I can learn from you and that we can gain learning from each other. I do feel that there's a lot of abundance, opportunities and prosperity that radiate from you. Right now, I know that in this connection, there has been a sense of overindulgence, 
manipulation, taking advantage of another. I have taken advantage of you. Have I victimized you? Do you feel that I have used you sexually, financially, psychologically? Have I manipulated you? I know that you are the victim of my desires now. But I overindulged, and of course, that is not healthy. I now realize that I turned you into a victim. And a part of me feels just a small part that I too have been victimized, but I know that what I did was not right. There's limits, and I went beyond those limits, beyond those boundaries. And I kept taking and taking, and you just kept giving. I also feel that you are someone that I would like to create something with. In my heart, I want to create something with you, a family, a life have a good future with you, but it's a very fragile kind of connection. It could break very easily. This web of love that I want to create with you, spiritually and emotionally it may be strong, but physically could it stand the test of time? Will it stand a storm? Will it stand an argument? Or will it break? I know it's fragile, so it would break. I know the way I've treated you was not right. And for this I'm afraid that I am losing you. I am now quite paranoid. Sometimes I even get panic attacks. Heightened anxiety fear, paranoia. A long time ago I used to be confident. I am no longer confident. Now I have insecurities. I have low self-esteem. I don't feel like the big boss that I used to be. Because I know that you found out. You have gone through it all and you realize what I've done to you. And I am afraid to even try to create something with you because I know that it might not be strong. But I'm also afraid to even approach you. And even more than that, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose you. I fear this. And because of my actions, because of what I've done, I feel very now depressed. I'm just, I'm just depressed and sad and lonely. I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to keep to myself. And this is not you. This is me. I've done this. I've done this to myself. I'm doing this to myself. I feel that there is this lack of understanding where a part of me only knows a little bit about you and you don't know the whole story about me. Things may have been rushed, but there's a sense of sadness that I feel. And there are restrictions, there are barriers, constraints, things that are weighing me down below the surface of this water. And I'm drowning in sadness now. I feel hopeless. And I know that your shining face is above the surface of this water. And you are that shining star, you are my sunshine. But I just can't reach there. 
do I act as if I as if I care as if this affects me no I'm not acting like that in fact I act as if everything's cool I'm fine it doesn't affect me but the truth is I'm very much affected I hide behind a veil behind a false mask I don't tell you the truth I hide it all right now my true feelings are hidden and when I'm out in front of the rest of the world my behavior is totally different you might think that I'm not worried you might think that I'm not sad that I don't have anxiety you have no clue what's going on inside of me because I'm a pretty good actor actress I can act I'm hiding wearing a false mask and why am I hiding so much because I betrayed you I betrayed your faith your trust I betrayed the love that you gave to me and I've hurt you too, your very core your soul and I feel it and I know it I betrayed you I know it but am I regretting it not right now because this is just simply who I am I feel that there's a lack of faithfulness now there's no trust you thought you knew me but in fact now it seems like you never knew me at all I was a complete stranger I have said things and done things that were very unpredictable something you never would have thought of and therefore I have hurt you and this is why this is why now there are doubts in this connection I doubt would you ever want me back I doubt that you'll ever trust me again I doubt that there'll ever be any faithfulness again why are all these doubts here because of what I did these doubts exist because of the betrayal and it's hard to change the opinion and the feelings and the heart and mind of anyone how can you ever trust me again how can you ever believe me ever again right now it has occurred to me that you and I come from very different worlds your mindset is very different and mine is very different we were born and brought up as different people different cultures different society everything is different our opinions do not match we are not on the same page and for this reason I know and I believe that the distance just grows the boundaries just grow I think of this connection in a very different way and I think you never really understood what my true intentions were and now that you know you think that I betrayed you or in fact all I ever wanted was a good time I did not want to become emotionally vulnerable because if I did then it would hurt me I don't want to be hurt so I never gave in but you did and I took advantage of that and this is why you are the victim this is why you feel betrayed but for now I have found it difficult and I find it difficult to just give you my emotions no matter what you've done all the things that they've, that you've done and all the things that we have gone through I still try to keep my distance because I don't want to get hurt but in the process of all of this I now realize that I truly have broken you I've hurt you to the core
Oh, my dear Gemini, you guys have gone through hell. And are you back yet? You know, I've been to hell and back, right? This is the thing. Are you guys even back from hell? This is, I think, guys, this is one of the most deepest readings I have ever done ever since I started my channel. I don't know. What on earth happened, guys? What happened? What I'm getting from here, Gemini, is that somebody is in your life who may have been manipulative and may have been in your life due to materialistic reason so maybe they wanted you because of your money this is lakshmi this is the goddess of prosperity and abundance this money what i'm sensing here is that some of you okay not all of you this is very particular not all of you are going to be feeling exactly all this maybe your other person does not feel all this this is not going to resonate with everybody i'm just you know telling you because many of the readers out there say this and it's because it's a general reading the thing is that Maybe the majority of you have felt a few things like this. But have you been in a connection where somebody might have been using you for your money? Because the first card is the strongest. I'm getting somebody, I'm, I'm getting this words, um, I was played like a fool, played for a fool or something like that. Somebody saying that. Somebody here right now, out of all of you, someone feels like they have been fooled. Um, maybe even scammed. I'm, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not seeing much of a scam, but... One thing I don't like about this particular, um, like this, these feelings that came out, this person is not regretting what they did. They are not at that phase or stage in their life right now where they would be able to regret. Sometimes we have the regret card. After regret, we have healing. After healing, we have wisdom. This person is not even at the regret part of it. So some of you might feel that they are regretting which is probably you know it's natural because they are hiding they know what they've done is wrong they're feeling depressed which also means that they're not feeling good but do they feel guilty the guilty card didn't show up so gemini my advice just seeing this i haven't even gone further is try to keep away from this person for now this person needs a lesson a taste of their own medicine you keep your distance and you don't don't be the victim anymore because this person has victimized you and they're afraid of losing you some of them are afraid like, oh I'm gonna lose my bank account I'm gonna lose my cash money person like oh, oh, oh my goodness me this was bad I feel for you guys it's difficult Sometimes you trust somebody, you know, when you're in love, right? You trust someone with your life, with your life. They give you something to eat. You believe them, you trust them. Anything can happen, right? You have to be careful you trust. You've trusted this person so much and they really hurt you. I mean, I would recommend some of you talk to a friend, a counselor, somebody because you really do need to get some stuff off your chest even this other person too if a cross watcher is watching here if you feel like this please do that talk to somebody about your feelings and emotions get it all out there's a lot of negative energy here so much negative energy that's accumulating because of this entire circumstance that you guys have gotten yourselves into it's really bad all right i've never taken that much time on one of my my initial uh spreads but like it's already i think 19 something 19 minutes in all right i'm not gonna rush through it though I'm not gonna rush through it let's have a look at the lover's path tarot something that this person is not telling you that may have occurred that caused a problem in the first place balance yeah balance wasn't it that you were just giving 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 and this person was taking 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 this is why they want or they knew it's not that they want a better balance this is the opposite i'm reading the reversals um but this person knew two major arcanas this person knew that there was a lack of balance here you also have transformation 
So let's have a look at what was one of or two of the main problems in this connection, something that maybe you were not aware of. Maybe they didn't share this with you. So here, there was a sense of imbalance in this connection. This person wanted to have a union between their conscious and the unconscious aspects of their psyche. Ooh. I'm getting some of you think that this person is not right in the head. I'm actually getting that. I'm getting a bad word in my mind right now. Um, somebody's calling someone a sick and then the F word. You are a sick and then the F word. Somebody's saying that really angry. A woman's really angry. Um, my goodness. Okay. We have here, there's an imbalance. There was discomfort. So this person did not have balance in their own mind, actually. Yeah. Um, they were uncomfortable. There, were, there was an inability to find peace within themselves and with others. And there was a lack of inspiration. There you go. This person, this person, their heart is not connected to their head. Remember earlier I said because they don't want to get hurt because of the beliefs card, right? So this is what happened. Um, they were feeling dis, uh, discomfort. So they were not comfortable if and when you expressed yourself to them emotionally. They don't want it. And therefore they acted upon that. So if they wanted love, they would have asked for love. They would have been like that. But because they didn't want it, they just didn't do it. And this is something that they have. There's an inability to find peace within themselves or with others. I have a feeling that this person, everybody does something for a reason, guys. I have a feeling that this person has an issue either with their family, with their upbringing. Maybe they were abandoned. Maybe they have some type of trauma. But there's something here where they do not really love themselves. They do not appreciate who they are as a human being. And therefore, they behave like this with other people. They need to love themselves. They need to know who they are in order for them to know somebody else or to be with somebody else. Because this card talks about the inability to find peace within themselves or even with others. So you need to love yourself first as a human being before you can love anyone else. You need to do that. Now this is not you, this is the cross watcher, right? This is the other person. Now we have here transformation. Let's have a look at that, okay. This talks about how this person was not comfortable with change. They did not want to end anything. There you go. They may have ghosted you. They did not end anything. There's a lack of closure. How many people here feel that there's a lack of closure? Probably a lot of you. They didn't want to end anything. And guess what? Nor did they want to begin anything. So if some of you wanted a more committed connection, did this person want to begin that? Nope. It doesn't seem like it. Holy smokes. This is a dark reading. I have to say, I feel the energy. It's so dark. Here we have how this card talks about transformations. The need to allow something to die inside in order to create room for new. Yes. So there's, you know, there's negative energies here. Definitely. Um, something has to go in order for positivity to come around. We also have here, there was a sense of stagnation and this person that you're dealing with was resisting transformation. So they knew they had to transform, but they were resisting it. Here we also have, there was a need to move in a new direction, but they were unable to do so because they were being quite rigid. They're set in their ways. They're set in their ways because of, remember the beliefs card, guys. We had the beliefs card, didn't we? It was right here in the beginning. This is exactly why. This person was born and brought up, or maybe they were raised in a way with society, with friends, with culture, whatever. But it's not even good. They got into some type of state of being, which is unhealthy. And that is what they believe in. That is what they live by. And you do not resonate with this person because they believe this. They are like this. Holy smokes. It's like they are 
darkness and you are the light. And this is not something where you have opposites attract. This is actually unhealthy. Gemini, guys, I usually don't like do these type of like this is this is really intense, guys. I'm I feel for you. Um All right, we got 25 minutes in. Let's have a look at what is this person planning? Is there anything that's going to happen where this person's going to change? I'm just, I'm literally, I'm going to do a prayer for this one. Just wait a sec. Okay, usually I don't ask the angels to help me with this one, but let's see what the angels have to say about this. Uh, something that may have, ooh, look at that. Yeah, something that might happen in the future. You know how you had the beliefs card um, that talks about people, people, beliefs, traditions, this is exactly it. This person is influenced by other people. They're very easily manipulated too. Very easily influenced. Very bad. Im uh, easily impressionable. That's what the word is. So yes, there is a lot of arguments. There's a lot of disagreements, fights, dis distrust. There's a lot of jealous people around you guys. Here we also have... We have justice. This person eventually... Hallelujah. Thank you. This person finally thinks that what they did was wrong and they want to give you justice. Thank God. Oh. It's like we finally found the person that's living inside the monster. Okay? This is what's happening now. Eventually, it seems like this person is going to learn on their own or become a bit more wiser, like become, um, I guess you could say, more mature. Uh, learn from their experiences, not wanting to repeat any mistakes that they might have made. But the thing is, Gemini, you have to keep your distance, guys. This is not going to work if you guys are giving them and enabling them anything. Wow, one card just fell out. Let's see. Ooh, the love workshop, eight of pentacles. They're going to have to work on this. They're going to have to work for this. And they're trying. Why are they working for it? Because they know they screwed up. That's why they're working for it. They're only going to start working for it once they see that they have to have value, that they have value, um, or that they don't have value in your eyes. You see, this is what you've got the Five of Pentacles here. You are going to give them the cold shoulder, and please, Gemini, give them the cold shoulder, okay? You have to. This person, it doesn't matter what they've gone through, it really doesn't. They've put you through hell because of what's happened. And they need to grow up and become mature. These cards are still a little dark. They're still trying to get over this either trauma that they're going through or the trauma that they have put you through. And because they've made you feel bad, they feel bad. Here we have justice. They want to make things right. Because they do feel that certain things in this connection were one-sided where you just kept giving and they just kept taking so they want to make a better balance which is excellent good good for them honestly we also have here eight of pentacles this person is going to want to work on a strategy to somehow you know get back in your good graces try to be nice to you um, and and that's important that's fine let this person take their time they need time I'm a, I know you guys might want to rush. You might want this to happen quickly. This is one reading I can say. This person is not going to budge anytime soon. Because they need to know who they are in order to know anything else about life and relationships and love. They are empty on the inside. They need to fill it with love. And you are not the person to bandage, bandage this person, to fix this person to be there for this person because you think that you are the nurse in a way of taking care of them emotionally it's gone beyond that guys this person needs help and they need to be by themselves for a little bit let them reflect and they will become wise on their own eventually they are going to feel left out in the cold because what i have said some of you are already doing it and what i've said you guys are going to do that you're going to keep your distance from this person i see that here i've said it and so some of you are doing it 
um, the Five of Pentacles. Yes, they are going to feel a bit rejected and a little bit left out in the cold because there's going to be more distance than, than before. Now, when they do that, when you do this, they're going to feel the value of you and they're going to want to work towards something better to make things right again. This is the only way you will be able to change the um, perception of this person. We also have here the Nine of Swords. Eventually, this person wakes up at night and they literally hold their hands in, you know, on their face and they're like, how did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I do this to such a person? There is regret, there's worry, there's anxiety, fears, and there's guilt that keeps this person awake at night. Remember, there was a fear card, right? Oh, guys, feel free to vent and write and just keep writing. I mean it. In the comments below. I don't know if I'll be able to read it all, but you all support each other, okay? Because this is something, this is like not good. Somebody here has to talk. Tell us your story. Everybody's here for one another. That's why I keep the comments open. This is some really um, heavy stuff here I'm getting. This person really is starting to feel, and they will feel in the future, that what they've done is completely wrong. They really, truly hurt you so much. It's too much to handle. Um, and what they want to do in their heart is they want to make things right. What they want to do is they want to work on it. This is the intention, which is good intention. But it's because they feel left out in the cold and they feel guilty and they feel worry and anxiety over this entire situation. So remember, Gemini, when I told you, did they feel guilt in the beginning? I didn't get the guilt card, right? So here, at least we have this. Yes, this person is going to start to change. In the future, they are going to start to feel guilty. And that's, you know, part of the human process. As long as you don't have some type of psychological disorder or something like that, um, this is the natural process that somebody will feel guilty eventually. This person is going to start to feel that. And what I'm sensing here is that there's going to be a change in the environment that they're into. The beliefs are going to slightly change. They're going to break free from certain things that were holding them down before, but this is going to take a long time. Some of you might want this to happen fast. It's not going to happen fast because it cannot happen fast. A human's mind, body, and spirit is not like an on-off switch. We can't just turn it on. We can't just turn it off. It's a process. It's an organic process, right? So we have to be careful not to rush ourselves or this person into whatever you guys want this connection to be. Oh my god. I don't even know what to title this one. <sighs> this was draining, guys. It's draining for me. I wonder what it's like for you guys. Goodness me. Alright, let's call back the angels again. All right, these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. First card is the strongest. You have yes. Yes is good. I think yes is good in any century. Um. <laughs> okay, what did I say? What did I say and what are the angels saying? It says here, let go, okay, guys? Let go. The angels are very, um, like, I can't tell you the, the, the intelligence is beyond us. They have strategies, and they're telling you to let go of this person. Let, let go of this person energetically, because what's going to happen is eventually they will end up feeling attracted to you once again, because they'll, they'll fear losing you because they'll have value for you at that point when you are no longer available because right now it's like you're just you're, you're always there they know that you're there but if you f you know show them and prove to them that hey i don't care i'm not going to call you i'm not going to answer your text messages i can't i'm not going to put my middle finger up right now but i'm so i feel it guys i feel it <laughs> like i'm so upset with the situation right now it's not good you guys must be so angry holy smokes i mean some of you right i can i can feel that so listen this is what the angels are saying yes it's going to work out okay but you have to let go eventually you will be able to take some action in this connection you will be probably the one who's going to initiate something but i would say this is going to be in the far future this is not anytime soon 
The angels are telling you there's no need to worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Because there will be a peaceful resolution in the future. However, like I said, take your time, right? Um, don't rush things. They are also saying here, it's not the right time. Right now is not the right time. And then you have here, they are saying, the situation will improve. Thank God. Thank you, Vishu. Thank God. The situation will improve, Gemini. Um, if you believe that it will, you will be able to manifest this with your positive energy and you just being positive. Um, I know it's, it, you know, it's really hurt you guys a lot, this entire situation. If and when this person comes back to you, um, if you want to continue this connection, it's important for you to stay positive because they are coming from a place of a lot of negativity. So once they see this light at the end of the tunnel, they are in darkness. They're looking for that light and you are that light. Try to be that light being. Try to be that person who's positive, who's always happy. Because people honestly love people who are happy. They don't want to be with people who are negative or sad or toxic or miserable. I'm not saying that you are. Sometimes we are because we go through shit, right? All of us have things in our lives that just mess things up. I know that. But try to be that sunshine in this person's life. It's like moth to a flame. You are that flame and they will be this moth. You need to have that beauty, that radiance around you so that not only attracting this person, but you will attract other people too. This is something that you should practice in the coming future once this person starts to at least settle themselves because they've got a lot of issues to deal with. Gemini, that is your reading, my darlings. Sorry if this has been overwhelming. I I don't know what to say. It's been, uh, I have to, like, I personally feel that this is one of the most intense readings I've done. It's never been this intense before, but something's happened here. Feel free to tell your story. Feel free to talk. Um, even, you know, with your, your, your friends, your family, somebody. Just It's important to vent and talk because you can't keep that energy inside of you. By talking, talk therapy, you're releasing your energy. So you're basically sending out that ball of negative energy that's inside of you somewhere else. Just send it off somewhere else. It's not that it's going to attack another individual, but you have transferred your energy from one form to another. And so it's released from you. This is why sometimes when we write things down on a journal, it feels good. If we write um, music, it just feels good because we've expressed ourselves. We've sent it out into the universe. So try to do that if some of you are really feeling this burden inside of you. All right, Gemini, you all take care. Stay safe. You're not alone. I can only see that many of you are going to have the same issue. The, you know, the cross watchers. I hope that everybody's able to at least emotionally um, settle down, you know, and that it's not manifesting into physical form where it's actually hurting you inside um, physically. Um, just stay positive, guys. Eventually, like it says, let go. Right now is not the right time, but there will be a right time because the situation will improve in the future. All right, Gemini, that is your reading. I know it's extra long. Um, let me know in the comments below. You all take care and stay safe. Bye now.